Nearly 37 years after a young girl vanished from her home in Greeley, the trial underway in the Janelle Matthews murder case. Matthews disappeared after a holiday concert in December of 1984. Kelly Worthman working on the story for us today. She joins us from the CBSN studio. So, Kelly, they showed the opening statements in that Stephen Pankey trial on CBSN today. And both sides outlined their case this morning, Karen, before Janelle's parents took the stand. While there is no DNA evidence, prosecutors are confident Steve Pankey is who kidnapped Janelle, shot her in the head, then buried her body, not to be found for more than 30 years. He is the individual we have been looking for for 37 years. District Attorney Michael Rourke says Steve Pankey inserted himself into the investigation, making several statements to authorities over the decades. He also knew crucial evidence about raked over footprints at the crime scene, a detail investigators never made public. Knowing that the only other people who would, or other person who would know that that raking occurred was the person who did it. Yet the defense argues Panky simply has an obsessive interest in the case, adding he tells white lies to build self-importance. And frankly, Steve's a little crazy. You know, he gets involved in these things. The defense also pointing out there were no signs of forced entry or any sort of struggle inside the Matthews home, meaning the person who took Janelle was someone she knew, and Steve Panky was a stranger. If someone like Mr. Panky had abducted her, she would have kicked and screamed and fought, and someone would have heard it, and no one did. Janelle's parents were first to testify in the trial. Her father says he's not so sure his daughter was someone who'd fight back. I think there's a possibility that she, I don't know if the word coerce is the right word, but she could have been lured out of the house uh, and gullible because she's 12 years old. And so the defense said evidence points to a different former neighbor as Janelle's killer. We have those details on that part of the trial over at CBSDenver.com. Now, this case is expected to take several weeks, so we'll continue to follow its developments and stream key moments of the trial live on CBSN Denver. Jim. All right. Thank